So again, there's a few times that he just keeps going. This is one of those. Oh, come on. Do you always get laughed at if you uh, stay stick around for the rest of his stuff? So, uh, yeah, and there we go. There's a few people getting chased, and then they blow up the bridge. So, Corporal Reese. So let's just do okay. So there's Angel again. And we have our Bazooka assault rifle, which is nice. But as you can see, the enemies start leveling up as well. So for now, I think we're going to stick to the uh, murderous toolbox and just keep going with that. So we need to use the catch a ride system to get a vehicle and get to Sanctuary, the, seat, the safe city of Sanctuary. Where uh, Claptrap wants to go as well, but Claptrap is going to stay inside of his uh, ship like a little baby. Now we're going to see some more Bullymungs. Bullymungs are uh, especially susceptible to fire. So the only downside to the murderous toolbox, I think, is that it's A, well, completely inaccurate, and B, it's also, um, well, a projectile weapon. So the bullets go more slowly, which is not handy in this case, I think. So the catch right system is right over there, which should enable us to get a, uh, well, a ride, a car, as you want. Scooter controls these catch a ride machines. He may be short a few chromosomes, but he's a savant when it comes to vehicles. He's locked the station to prevent the bandits from using it, but I'm reading an inactive Hyperion bot in the Bloodshot camp. If you can attach its interface adapter to the catch a ride, I can hack the machine and get you a car. That sounds great. Welcome Just gonna check what shot. these guys actually have for sale, maybe sell a few things. There we go, sold a few things, and now we need to get into the Bloodshot cam. So the Bloodshots are these bandits over here, so they're... Each uh, bandit tribe has their own specific, uh, well, piece of, piece of clothing. Are you gonna hit it, or what? Okay. Oh, suicide. Let's kill that guy. There he goes. And now we get the Nomads, so a new type of enemies we haven't seen yet. Set them on fire. There we go. The nomads are a bit beefier, so they actually look also beefier. Okay, would you please? There we go. Reloading while the decoy is doing its work. Shoot, 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 shoot. Without a shield, they're actually not that bad. If I can actually get the. Get his shoulder. Well, this guy is actually hitting me pr quite nicely. <laughs> God damn, this thing is ineffective. Okay, there we go. So, I think it's in the chest over... I oh, know, it's right on the bolt here. So the Hyperion Network Adapter allows the Guardian Angel AI to hack any non-Hyperion machine it is plugged into. Just attach the adapter onto the catcher ride and I'll get you a free car. Yeah, yeah, I will. Ooh. Ooh. That's also not bad. It's a lot higher fire rate. I'm just going to actually swap that out. So this is what this game is all about. You constantly swap out weapons because you're constantly getting upgrades to your weapons, especially in the early uh, stages. You get stuff that can uh, easily get you a bit uh, more damage output than you could before. So there we go, looted around a bit, can't forget to keep our ammo topped up. So let's get the Hyperion part into the catch right. Executing phase shift. There we go, phase shift. Ashe kind of basically hacks the machine anyway. Rescinding lockdown. 
And it's actually marked with the Hyperion logo as well. There we go. I don't know. Try requesting another card. Well, cool, but I don't want to see how that taco looks. So we can use this to actually get any, uh, well, any colored vehicle out of this thing. Um, let's go with a Nova Star. There we go. Light running MG. I'm gonna go for the rocket launcher instead, and then deploy the vehicle and teleport into it. <laughs> so this thing is a bit weird. The controls on this thing are a bit weird. You should now be able to digestruct a car from any catch a ride station. Okay, I still know the controls. Now head to Sanctuary and find Roland. No one to meet the Vault Hunter who stared down Handsome Jack and lived. So the weird thing about this thing is that it drives in the direction you're looking at. So as you can see, if I turn the, the camera around, it actually rotates the front so wheels. You're so unburdened. And there's Jack again. Intelligence, culture, morality, honor, ambition, good looks. I could go on, but I won't. There we go, and there we go, dignity, dignity, sorry. But Stallion, so Bet Stallion is still there. So the left stick is used to accelerate and decelerate, and then you need to look where you want to drive. It sounds um, intuitive, but it definitely is not, especially since the thing likes to get stuck on things. But at least it has an infinite ammo, and you can run stuff over with it, which is also nice. It actually also picks up uh, anything you drive over, same as you would uh, normally. So I'm just going to move forward a bit. And it has a boost. It has a boost. So I'm just going to go over here towards Sanctuary, because this is it. That's Sanctuary. Um, and then boost. Do a little drift. And there we have Sanctuary in the back there. But this gate is uh, funny. Let us in, Grinder. We're only gonna kill every last town of the Let's just blow them up. I think I kind of interrupted it by doing being too close. I'm just gonna go over here. So the vehicles also have health. But of course, we have uh, more firepower than these guys do. There we go. Uh, it's smoking a bit, but I think... Does this thing actually has health regeneration? Yeah, it does. There we go. So that actually comes back. So if we then move out of the vehicle... Kind of forgot what the button is. That's the switch thingy button. Ah, uh, it's a circle button. There we go. It's been a while. It's been a, 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 quite a few years since I last played this. Sanctuary, you bloodshot skaglicks. Hold up. You're a vault hunter. Yes, I am. Just a sec. Roland wanted to talk to you. Let me echo him. Okay. Oh, so you're the one I've been hearing all this radio chatter about. Name's Roland. I used to be a vault hunter like you, until I formed the Crimson Raiders. We'll catch up when I get back to Sanctuary. For now, I need your help. My men tell me Corporal Reese hasn't returned the power core that we need to keep the city's shields running. Bring Reese back to Sanctuary, and you'll have earned your place in the Raiders. So there we go. Easy peasy, bring That's back Reese. Good. Listen to what he says. He can help us defeat Jack. So, Reese is the guy we just saw at the beginning, crossing the bridge, then blowing it up to get to, uh, well, stop the bandits from getting to us. And Roland is actually the soldier character from the first game, so the soldier Handsome playable character from that first game. Your pretty little heads about those earthquakes. See, with every tremor, my drill gets closer to the vaults, to freedom, order, and safety for us all. Except you assets and sanctuary. Hey, Bullymong! Bullymong! Get away from my car! Thank you. Oh, wow. Hi. Just gonna fire off at these guys, my bet. I love this thing. A Molly Wand SMG is probably one of the best things you can find at the beginning. Especially with the fire effect, because it just kicks ass. It burns fleshy people down and monsters down to a crisp which is all you're fighting in the beginning so look at that this is gonna die this is gonna die it also makes this really really cool noise because every gun kind of has their own well category of guns have their own kind of uh sound <laughs> 
and it all makes for a better experience now, doesn't it? That's just smooth. Just gonna head down to where Reese is supposed to be. So this is another bandit camp. Just gonna smash a few things along the way to get some ammo back. But this is supposed to be the camp. I'm actually gonna, because this is a bit opener than before again, more open than before. Um, and I think I actually missed, yeah, we need to go a bit further, but let's get the sniper rifle back. And get this guy in the face, because I think this is... I can't go through the stairs. Still can't go to the... Through the stairs. Yeah, psychos are no problem with guns like this. Uh, just gonna do that, to kill that guy. So there's a badass over here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but there's also a weapons chest, and I wanna just, wanna just grab that. Isn't he? Yeah, there he is. Badass Psycho! <laughs> the burn damage really helps, because it keeps attacking. There we goes. And Badass has always dropped guns as well. That actually looks really good. That's actually really good. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's a bigger problem. Um, you go over there. You go over there. Oh, that's not. That was a bit too far, I think. You know what? Here, here, buddy. There's a weapon chest. I think he died. Damn, that weapon, that grenade mold is awesome. Yeah, he, he definitely died. And I got my grenade back. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. But moving on. I'm gonna move towards the back there. I don't have a, a ride now. I'm just gonna grab the car. Although, you know what? We're right where we need to be, actually. Because this is the first uh, audio log that we need to collect. So, there we go. So, as Roland said, they're actually not looking for Reese specifically. Well, they of course want him back. But Reese actually has the battery for the defenses of the city. Which they of course need to defend from, uh, well, Handsome Jack. And his uh, terrifying station in the sky. Okay, this thing is going all over the place. I'm not going to aim anymore. These things are big enough. These things are big enough to just hit like this. And that's when they're further away. This thing is, doesn't want to go on fire. I think I have a 25% uh, chance of setting them alight with this thing. But with a high fire rate that should be rather quickly. Another thing that Borderlands 2 actually does really well is that it gives you not enough ammo to stay, to keep using the same gun. So it kind of forces you to experiment with different gun types. And there we go. The Bullamoon actually activated the electric cactus over there. Yeah, there's, there's electric cactuses. Don't think too much about it. Just gonna take a... Oh god, he's throwing a car at me! I think he's gonna die. He is now. He is now. He's definitely dead now. Uh, so the cactus... Well, if you hit the cactus, it's gonna keep damaging you electrically until you... Uh, Die. And electricity is actually good against shield. So every elemental piece of damage is good against something. So fire is good against flesh. Electricity is good against shields. Uh, corrosive is good against armor. So the yellow bars. And what do we have? Yeah, slag is going to double damage of everything else. Would you, would you stop doing that, please? There we go. So, we saved uh, Reese from the bandits. He's still alive, it seems, so let's help him up. A vault hunter? <laughs> Didn't think I rated that much of a rescue. One of those psychos ran off with the power core. Without it, Sanctuary will be defenseless. <laughs> Ow! Get that core back to Sanctuary. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a nap. Wake me up. 
Wake me up when I'm not on Pandora anymore. So yeah, there he goes. He was one of the first Crimson Lancemen I recruited to the Raiders. Get that power core back, and while you're at it, kill some bandits for Reese. That's what he would have wanted. So we're getting attacked by Rack. Sometimes your echo device can't find the precise location of what you're looking for. Search the area marked by the big ass green circle in your mini map. Your objective is somewhere in the I hate these things. Get away from me. Every time they start screaming, they're gonna attack, and that's the point where you can fire at them directly, I guess. There we go, before they actually hit you. Damn, these things are annoying. So they're kinda like, yeah, creepy bat creatures. Bat, manta rays. I don't know, I think there's actually a chest here as well. There it is. There it is. Always, always a good idea to check those out. All DDRs? No. Increased weapon stability and fires as fast as you can pull the trigger, so... Jacob says we're used to, and TDRs. I want to do a TDR soon, but because uh, those guns are really special. They're kind of the crappy manufacturer, so the 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 disposable gun manufacturer, and they kind of went with us in this game. But uh, I'll have to show you that later on when we find a good one. But going into another bloodshot camp, we need to kill 20 bloodshots as an optional objective and get the power core needed to defend Sanctuary with it. So we're gonna make our way through this from the left to the right. We're gonna get shot at a lot. But uh, we're gonna have to see about that. Just gonna do this. Oh god. Yeah, there's a bit too many of them. Okay. So, not zoomed in. This thing doesn't do it much. It actually reloads rather quickly, this thing. And we leveled up, which means that our health is also replenished. Which is a, a very good point for that to happen. Just gonna go in here. Just gonna go with the SMG, because I feel like psychos. Yeah, psychos are coming in. Just gonna get the skill points, and then we're gonna ha have to see... We're almost at level 10, right? Yeah, level 10 is when we get to the next part of the skill tree. Which is where things are starting to get interesting. Keep moving. Because uh, there's one or even two weapon chests in this place as well. Oh, that was a high level weapon because it was red. Red means I can't use it yet. I'm gonna have to see because we're at 11 kills right now. Ah, there's the, the weapon chest that I was looking for. They kind of lose interest for some reason when you're going up here. You usually have bigger weapons as well. Ooh, that's a sniper rifle. That's a sniper rifle. And it's a Hyperion sniper rifle. So it's kind of against the logic. Because Hyperion actually gives you more accuracy the more you fire it. And I don't think I don't know what that actually does on sniper rifles. Sustained fire and aiming down the sights increases accuracy. So accuracy is increased with sustained fire, but of course with a sniper rifle that doesn't really help you much. But the rest is nice, I suppose. Oh, and then we have our first bit of Iridium. That is cool. That gives us extra uh, capacity for pretty much everything. We're starting to get higher level weapons for some reason. Just gonna see if I can snipe a few fools, like that guy. Ouch. There we go. I think there's a, a Psycho coming up as well. But there we have... One? Oh god. That's just, it is the last thing you'll say. Because it, it literally was the last thing you said. There we go. We're nailing those guys. That is just, that is just beautiful. I can't even get a word in. That was just beautiful. Just gonna do this for a second. Let's get oh my reason to see where the enemies are. Okay, that was not the plan. I'm gonna have to work my way back up now. I think the power core is actually down here. Yeah, there we go. There's the power core. That's the power core. Great. Jack won't destroy sanctuary today at least. Now get back to the city. We'll meet up once I get there. Welcome to the Crimson Ray. Oh, God, damn it. I'll see you. So that last screen wasn't Roland's. 
That was a guy just set on fire, so don't worry about that. He's still alive. But he just got attacked, so we're gonna have to help him out as well. Because these guys can't, can't do anything about themselves. That was a grenade. That's gonna be bad next to that corrosive thing. No, you scream. There we go. You scream. So as you can see, you don't actually get all that much experience from lower level enemies. Ooh, more iridium. That's actually, because that's a rule. Get away. I'm trying to have a conversation with my viewers. God damn it. So as I said before, the respawn rate of enemies can be sometimes really, really annoying. I'm just going to actually do this so I can see where that last one is. Because it's supposed to be over... Oh, gold. Just going to do this. Now it's, a, now it's a bit overpowered. Now that the shield is gone, let's do... This. Jesus Christ, that actually keeps going every time I do that. And grenades are actually pretty uh, plenty, so... It's actually really cool as well. So let's head to Sanctuary. So one of the biggest problems with uh, Borderlands 2 is that if you don't have a car, or you lose your car because it's blown up, and you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to go quite a ways out to find one again. So I'm just gonna... Boost back to Sanctuary, we're pretty close by. This is a message to Sanctuary. The last stronghold of the Resistance. And or as you knew it, the Chaos, the Bandits. That time has passed. If you let it, this could be an era of order. Please, just turn yourselves in and I promise, your deaths will be quick. Hey, you like my speed? I was lying about the last part, by the way. I'm gonna spend a long time torturing you bandit scum to death. And I'll enjoy it even more because... I, I, I shouldn't say anymore. I got a little secret that I... You know what? You don't need to hear it. It'll probably just confuse you. Ciao. So there we go. Hinting at the further plot of the game. Handsome Jack. He's a, he's a really cool villain. I really like him. I think everybody likes him. He's wildly considered as one of the best video game villains of all time. Is that you? Oh, it's the Vault Hunter. Get in quick. Roller's echo communicator went dead. We need your help. Okay. I forgot there was a hologram on top of this thing and I never looked at it. I'm really sorry about that. Let's head in. Oh, I'm an idiot sometimes. Here we go. Sanctuary. <laughs> Made it to Banditville, huh? Well done. It'll be nice to see a friendly face when I'm burning that place to the ground. Oh, and I have decided that I will tell you my secret later on, once you've earned it. There we go. So Handsome Jack is an interesting villain because he sees himself as the hero, and he really sees himself as the hero. So he's here with his Hyperion spaceship over there to just clear Pandora of bandits, and he sees us as bandits. Well, I mean, if you look at Zero, I don't know why I'm not seeing him. There he is. He does kind of look evil, doesn't he? Especially like this. But, let's give Lieutenant Davis the, uh... You're the one Commander Roland was talking power about. Power core. The one who faced Jack and lived. Look, we need your help bad. But first things first, plug that power core into the shield generator. Yeah, not all the voice acting is great. Uh, most of it is, but that that's, that's just bad. Lieutenant Davis is a bit overpowered, so there goes the shield. Now, if we install that again, we get a new shield. So there's a giant uh, energy shield around the city. And then we can turn that in with Lieutenant Davis. There we go. Collect the reward. And I think I'm going to go for a fast cannon. Going to have one like that and have one like that. So I think I'm going to go for the fast cannon. Good. That ought to last us a day or two. Uh, Roland was supposed to bring us some intel on how to stop Jack. With him missing, we really need your help. Talk to Private Jessup at the gate. He'll let you enter the city. Jessup! Stand up straight! We got a Vault Hunter headed your way! <sighs> so there we go. Blitz! Look alive, everybody! And I there you can see... Blitz. Without that fresh core you brought, there we go. those Lunar Mortars would have pushed right through the shield! And that's a way of the game to tell you that you uh, did something good. So protecting the city actually saved it from that Mortar Strike. So let's get the Jessup, meet him... Let me get the gate for you. And open up the gate. Resistance has needed somebody like you for a while now. And as you can see on the map already, there's a lot of exclamation marks. Open up the gate, Jessup. Jesus Christ, don't 
You're slacking on the job. Next time on Borderlands 2, we meet the citizens of Sanctuary. You'll never take me alive, you robotic stone bitch!